हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड इन हाई स्पिरिट्स आई एम श्योर यू आर टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ योर स्टडीज टूडे लेट्स हियर ए स्टोरी यू माइट बी थिंकिंग वट इज द पर्पज ऑफ स्टोरी इन मैथमेटिक्स बट स्टूडेंट्स यू विल लर्न ए लॉट फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी दिस स्टोरी हैज सो मैनी स्टूडेंट्स हु आर डूइंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज एंड थ्रू दोज एक्टिविटीज वी विल डू एडिशन subtraction as well as multiplication and division let's start some students are going on a trip to bhopal i hope you all might have gone to different places on school trips so these students were going to bhopal i hope you know bhopal is the capital of madhya pradesh when students were ready to go their teacher minakshi ma'am and rakesh sir were talking to each other minakshi ma'am said they need four buses but rakesh sir feels that they need five minakshi ma'am says each bus has 50 seats rakesh sir says let's stop this mathematics first we should find out how many students are going with us so they start counting class 1 has 33 students class 2 has 32 students class 3 has 42 class 4 has 50 and class 5 has 53 students so students tell me how many students in all are going okay i'm giving you some time to calculate you can take your notebooks and find out how many students are going on the trip you can take your time okay let me help you in this see class 1 had 33 class 2 had 32 class 3 had 42 class 4 had 50 and class 5 had 53 students so let's add them now in order to add these first of all we will add the digits at unit place so we add 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7 and plus 3 is 10 so we get 0 at the unit place and 1 we carry to the tens place now let's add the tens place 1 Plus three is four. Four plus three is seven. Seven and four is eleven. Eleven and five is sixteen. And sixteen and five is twenty-one. So here we write one at the tens place and two at the hundreds place. So how many students do we get? 210. So 
so students now we get to know the 210 students are going on the picnic i hope many of you might have got the same answer now at this point someone thought if four buses come to the school then how many students will be able to sit now see one bus can seat 50 students two buses can seat 50 more students that is 100 students three buses can seat 50 more students that makes 150 students and if we have four buses then four buses can seat 50 more that is 200 students now see we can add this in another way here you can see 50 Plus fifty, plus fifty, plus fifty. You can see that we are doing repeated addition, and in place of repeated addition, we can also do multiplication. How? Let me tell you. Fifty. is added four times here you see so what we can do we can multiply 50 by 4 let's do it 50 multiplied by 4 4 into 0 is 0 so here we write 0 at the unit place and 4 fives are 20 so here we write 20 so we get 200 when we added then also we got the same number that is 200 so students did you see it repeated addition can be replaced by multiplication so students we got 200 seats in four buses but how many students were there 210 oh this is a huge confusion students are 210 but seats are only 200 so how many students will be left Yes. 10 students will be left. So let's see. We have got answers to few questions. First, in total, how many students are going? 210. If they get four buses, then how many students will be able to sit? 200. Will there be any student who won't be able to sit? Yes. How many students won't be able to sit? For that, we subtracted two hundred from two hundred and ten, and we got how many students? Just think. Just think. How many students are left? Yes. 10 students are left but then some students said we will adjust with each other and sit then all of them formed queues and came outside all of a sudden ma'am said Stop. 
and then we see that ma'am and the bus driver were arguing this argument started because the driver brought small buses instead of big buses ma'am said we had asked you to bring big buses driver said we didn't have enough big buses that's why we have brought small buses now students each small bus could seat 35 students so how many buses are required to accommodate all students let's find out now see each small bus has 35 seats if we add 35 to 35 we get 70 so that means two buses can seat 70 students three buses can seat we will add 35 to 70 and we will get 105 similarly four buses can seat 105 plus 35 that is 140 and five buses will seat 140 plus 35 that is 175 students and six buses will seat we add 35 more so 175 plus 35 gives how many seats students you find it out 175 plus 35 how many seats do we get come on just think you can use your notebooks yes we get 210 seats and how many buses did we use 6 How many students were there in all? 210 and 6 buses could seat 210 students. So that means each student will get a proper seat. So we needed 6 buses to accommodate 210 students if Each bus had 35 seats. Now, students started on their trip. Somebody told that if they don't stop in between, they can reach Bhopal in 2 hours. But that's not practically possible because You have to stop at a few places on the way. Minakshi ma'am told that if they start at 9 and don't stop on the way, so they will take 2 hours to reach Bhopal and 9 plus 2 that makes 11 so most probably they will reach bhopal by 11 am bhim sir told students that bhopal is about 70 kilometers away and rakesh sir told them that maybe they stop at Bhim Betka which is 50 kilometers away from here Now students if they go to Bhim Betka and stop at what time will they reach Bhim Betka Will it be 
before 10 am or will it be between 10 and 11 or will it be at 11 am now see total distance is 70 kilometers and time is 2 hours so that means they will reach beam bait ka between 10 to 11 why because beam bait ka is about 50 kilometers from the school so it will take more than one hour to reach beam bait ka and thus they will reach beam bait ka between 10 to 11 am now students proceeded on their trip they were singing they were dancing some of them were looking outside the windows i hope you also enjoy a lot when you go on trips with your friends all of a sudden one student yelled see there is narmada river all students started looking outside they were crossing a bridge across narmada river now the teacher asked them can you guess what is the length of this bridge the student said if we get to know the width of the river we can guess the length of the bridge some students said maybe it's 50 meters long somebody said maybe 100 meters or maybe more some students said maybe it's more than half kilometers then asha ma'am told them see here it is written this bridge is 756.82 meter long so we can guess that namada river is about 500 meters wide one student said i can't guess how long is 500 meter then asha ma'am said suppose our bus is 5 meter long then how many buses can stand behind each other on this bridge now students see the total length of the bridge is 500 meters and if one bus is 5 meter long how many buses can stand for that we will divide 500 by 5 let's do it 5 times 1 is 5 so we write 1 here and we write 5 below this 5 subtract this 5 from 5 so we get 0 now there is nothing else to copy from above other than these two zeros so we put these two zeros after one we get 500 divided by 5 gives 100 so that means all buses stand behind each other there can be 100 buses that can stand on this 500 meter wide bridge now the bus moves forward and in some time stops at a fuel station students 
each bus takes 15 minutes to fill diesel and they had to fill diesel in two buses so can you guess for how much time did they stop there now see one bus takes 15 minutes and two buses will take we will multiply 15 by 2 2 5 are 10 so we write zero at the unit place and carry one and two times one is two plus one is three so here we see time is taken 30 minutes so that means it will take 30 minutes for them to fill fuel in two buses and thus they will get late by how much time 30 minutes the students watch carefully the price mentioned at the fuel station they see 100 liter diesel is filled in the bus and it takes 3500 rupees so what will be the cost of 1 liter diesel now for this we will divide total money that is 3500 by the amount of diesel that is 100 So first of all we write 100 times 3 that is 300 we write 300 below 350 and subtract 0 minus 0 is 0 and 5 minus 0 is 5 and we copy this 0 from above so we get 500 now 100 times 5 is 500 we write 500 below this 500 and subtract so 500 minus 500 is 0 thus dividing 3500 by 100 we get 35 that means the cost of 1 liter diesel is 35 rupees well i guess the students had gone to the trip in very old times because these days the cost of 1 liter diesel is quite high it's around rupees 70 now students happily so students we see that the students started on a picnic from their school and had gone through various new experiences on the way i hope you also enjoyed their journey along thank you